apple pie. You know, you can have it with cream, ice cream. Well, the start of the song, Apple, is when it's mixed. There's um, sunflower marge, plus we've got flour, sugar, salt. You're gonna need a bowl, oven proof dish. You're gonna have to peel your apples and you call them. When you peel them, put them up into slices that you like, or most likely the size good enough when boiled will fit. Place the apples that are cut off into a bowl and wash them. Make sure you wash them and get this done quick before the starch turn brown. Then you put them in a pot and you have to add water. The amount of water should just cover them and they shouldn't float too much. But basically you will boil them and add some sugar and spices as you like to season. Basically I add two tablespoons of sugar. Your choice how much you want to use, how sweet you want it to be. Then we work on the flour adding seasoning such as sugar and some salt if you like. Then add the butter what turned in and folded until you get it like this. Nothing left but flour with butter in it. The apple's cooking, you'll realise you still got to make the dough from the flour. So when you do, keep adding flour if needed and water until you get the base or how you want it. Hit it with the rolling pin and then you know when you're starting to make the pastry it's working. Basically keep adding flour if too wet but roll and roll and make the thickness of the pastry of your life. We've got to grease the bowl so we get some marge and we grease the bowl. Now, the pastry that you made should fit over the bowl to make the housing of the pie. Now, this is how I'm doing it. It sits the pastry in the bowl all around the edges, as you can see. And then you've got to cut off what excess, and that will be used for the topping. Basically, the apple should have been cooked, but you don't want too much water, so you most likely have to drain the juice. These apples will go into the housing what you're making with the pastry. Depending, once you put the apples in, some just fold over all the edges and make a roof. But we're going to make one separately. Now, you can see the apples in it and they're not too, too juicy. A little juice is okay. But we cut off the excess pastry and there it is what we're going to make the dough back into a roofing for it. So add some flour start to knead it, I get the rolling pin and roll it out again to make the root. Now you can see the flat pastry, keep on rolling and you know what's going on, we're making the pastry as good as we made the, the, the bottom layer. Now you put this on top and basically join the edges together, you know, poking and pushing at the edges and then you get a sealed Pie, what is the apple pie quite raw but putting it in the oven for 15 minutes it comes out like this so check it see what it is gas mark 5 to 8 is how much I left it on well poke it with a knife and you'll know if it's cooking or not good enough just the browns not the simple answer but that's a good idea but another two to three minutes will do it for sure then you can cut once you take it out once it's cooled and you'll see it's cooked and that's the way it should be. Make a serving and you know you've got your apple pie. You can add custard if you like or get some ice cream or cream. Even a bit of brandy wouldn't be too bad at this moment. But there you have it, apple pie. Your style, the way you want it, the cross fit, a nice thick layer of pastry. You know, tasty, nutritious and delightful. Apple pie. 